Hi, I'm Chris Pollock. I imagine there's plenty of times you wish you had a precision router base. Whether it's for opening up rosette channels a few thousands or simply for cutting out the sound hole. Well, I just finished a new router base and it's built off the uh, design of Sylvan Wells and Tony Carroll. And I'd like to show it to you if I could and show you how I build it. What I like about the Wells Carroll design is it's simple and easy to make. The majority of the work is really just drilling holes and tapping the holes and then the rest is just assembly which is was in very hard. Let's do a quick overview of it. The main parts are made from UHMW. I imagine you could use wood or something but UHMW is real nice because it's it's a very low resistance. It won't, won't, won't mar your, uh, your work piece. Uh, it consists of two rails which are just quarter inch steel, two thumb screws, a piece of quarter inch all thread or threaded rod, a quarter inch locking nut, two quarter inch nuts, and some type of uh, knob that locks can lock down onto the shaft. In this case it's a vintage rounded over Telecaster knob. Um, two set screws, one on this side one on the other side. If you can see how the holes were drilled here, you'll notice that this shaft is offset a little higher. That allows for clearance of the knob. And these shafts are in the middle and they're at a half inch in from each edge. It adjusts by you loosen, when you want to adjust, you, you loosen this screw. This one stays locked down, then that allows this pivot block to move forward or backwards. The nice thing about the quarter 20 threads is that with one revolution you have moved, you have moved the pivot point 50 thousandths of an inch. Okay, that, well that's it pretty fast, little coverage of it. Uh, let's see how I build it. Okay, here are the parts you'll need to make the Wells Carroll precision router base. First off you'll need two pieces of steel quarter inch rod. These are seven inch long pieces. You'll need one piece of four inch quarter twenty threaded rod. You will need two quarter inch twenty threaded thumb screws or some type of knob with quarter twenty threads. You will need a quarter twenty lock washer, two lock two quarter twenty nuts, two quarter twenty these are 5 16 long set screws, one locking knob, in this case it's from a Telecaster, a type F drill bit, a number 7 drill bit, a quarter 20 tap, and a 1 8 inch pin. And the uh, U UH MW it's three quarters thick. This is this piece is four inches by six and a quarter inches. Here you will see I've already laid out for all the hole placement in the uh, UH MW block. These these holes here will be to keep the rails locked in later where the thumb screws will be installed. These up here or laid out for uh, mounting of my uh, Porter Cable 7310 router. The end holes have already been laid out and also side hole. There's one there and there's one on the opposite side which will lock the rails into the base. Okay what I've done here is made sure that the table was perfectly square to the drill bit. This will be pretty essential to keeping everything lined up as much as possible. I've also done it on the back side so it's all it's all squared up to the bit. Okay we're going to start off by drilling the F holes. These two holes are F holes. They're a little bit oversized from a quarter inch to allow the rod to slide. Uh, I'm going at a depth which will bottom out it about three inches deep. Well, let's do it.
Okay, let's see if it how's the, the rod fit. Pretty good. That'll work. Now we'll put a number seven drill in and drill these holes, the additional holes. 